guys, so I know right now I look kind of messy. It's because I've been packing and moving all day. And uh, I've been going through a lot of shit lately, so if you want to hear about that for some weird reason, I'm going to post a video on my vlog channel. I have a link right here in the description. Um, but the other day, I was live streaming on this app called StreamUp that I've been streaming on a lot, and I'll also have a link to that in the description if you want to follow me. But somebody asked me a really thought-provoking comment. It was something that I hadn't really thought about in that way before, and they asked me, you know, now that I'm not religious, is there anything that I still carry with me, like tendencies or something like that, from being religious that still kind of affect me now? And I thought about it, and like at first I wanted to be like, no, you know, because I, I mean, I, I don't have any, you know, religious leaning, I'm not, you know, into astrology or any kind of weird superstitious things, like it's just not something that interests me at all, and I just, I, I'm very like practical and stuff. But then I was thinking about like, well, what about like psychological effects, you know? Do I still have like fears of going to hell or, you know, oh, maybe just in case Pascal's wager kind of thing. But no, I don't do that either. But um, I did realize eventually that there is one thing that I do still carry with me and I feel like it's probably something that a lot of people can relate to. Um, and that is the guilt that you feel for certain things that you don't necessarily have to feel guilty for. Like, for example, a lot of people cite religion as the only basis for morality. Like, how could you have any kind of morals if you're not religious? You know, how could you know right from wrong? How could you not kill somebody if you don't have religion to tell you not to kill somebody? And, you know, of course, to that I respond to those people by saying, okay, well, if you didn't have religion telling you not to kill somebody, would you then be out pillaging the streets if you found out right now for sure that there were no God? And of course they say no, and I'm like, well... So I'm not talking about the guilt that I feel for doing things that you should feel guilty for. I'm talking about the guilt that I feel for things that really should not have any kind of negative meaning to it. Um, I was raised Catholic. I went to Catholic school from kindergarten to my senior year in high school, and Catholic guilt is something that I'm sure most of you out there are familiar with. If you weren't raised Catholic, I'm sure you've at least heard of what Catholic guilt is. And they just they make you feel bad for everything. I'm sure it's like that with, with most religions. But, um, you know, for me personally, I've realized that I'm not entirely comfortable with being, how do I phrase this? I'm not entirely comfortable with things relating to or involving sex. And I'm going to elaborate on that a little bit. Um, I have posted several videos on my channel about masturbation, I've done sex toy reviews, um, I have, you know, done and said things on my channel that most people would consider to be pushing the limits. Um, and that's exactly why I do it. It's because it does push the limits. I mean, for example, like, my last video, Do Girls Masturbate? Of course they do. You know, that's not really that surprising. But the reason why I posted that video was not to explain, Hey guys, just, you know, PSA, Girls Masturbate. You know, I wasn't trying to, like, let people know that. I was trying to show girls that it's okay to say and talk about these things and feel completely comfortable doing so. And I, I do stuff like that on this channel a lot of times because it's something that makes me a little bit uncomfortable, to be honest. And that's why I do it. I'm like, this shouldn't... There's nothing about talking about sex toys or masturbation or even sex. There's nothing about these conversations that should make me feel bad about myself or uncomfortable or like I'm going to be judged or dirty or like guilty in a sense. You know, you know, people think it's weird that I post videos like that, but it's like because I'm trying to overcome this like internal struggle that I still have from the way that I was raised about, you know, pleasure and sex and things that really shouldn't be that big of a deal. Now, I'm not saying that there's absolutely nothing to worry about whenever it comes to stuff like that. Obviously, if you're sleeping with the whole world, you put yourself at risk for pregnancy if you're a girl, if you, you put yourself at risk for diseases, you know, having your heart broken by someone, at least I would. Um, you know, like, I, I'm not saying that that's necessarily a good thing, but it's not a bad thing. I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. Like, everyone is different. Everyone has different, you know, things that make them feel good or bad. Um, but for me personally, I just feel like I should not have any guilt at all for talking about things like sex toys and masturbation and whatever the hell I want to on my channel. And that's why sometimes I push myself to do that. And the reason I feel like that, a lot of it is because 
it is that that is one thing that I still struggle with from being raised religious that anything that you do that's pleasure is somehow like you know a bad thing that you shouldn't be doing it that you shouldn't be enjoying yourself that you know something as like innocent in my opinion as masturbating could be something that people would feel really bad about and really dirty about and it makes me feel so you know I feel so sorry for all the girls out there that are afraid to you know do things that make them feel good like for me I did not get a vibrator until I was like 20 and it was because I was terrified of it and I thought it was wrong I'm like oh my god no I, I would never I would never get one of those of course you're not me and that's just stupid um, and I needed to do that to figure out how to even orgasm to begin with so until then I just was like I guess it's not for me. I guess it's maybe just a myth. You know, I would never have figured that out if I hadn't like taught myself via sex toys. And the fact that I was so ashamed to do that, you know, made me miss out. Like, you know, and, and if I hadn't overcome that at some point, I would have continued to miss out. So I guess the point of this is just to explain to people, first of all, check yourself if you grew up religious to make sure that things aren't causing guilt unnecessarily because sometimes they can. And sometimes because of the guilt you feel from that upbringing, you feel inclined to judge other people. And the other thing is that if you recognize that it's having that effect on you, make a conscious effort to overcome it. You know, not only for yourself personally, but for how you treat other people. Because I have been around other people, similar upbringings to me actually, and they're very judgmental, you know? They're judgmental of the videos that I make. They're judgmental of a lot of different things about me unnecessarily. You know, and, and not only do they feel that, they have to like put that on you. Like, you're a bad person because you did this. You're a bad person because you were with this guy and I don't like that guy. You're a bad person because you just made a video promoting sex toys. Oh my God, I can't believe how ridiculous you are. You know, and I've, I've, uh, I've slowly learned to not put up with that anymore, but for a long time I did. I put up with, with people telling me, and if you watch the video on my other channel, you'll get it, but I put up with people telling me that I was bad, or I was dirty, or I was not a good person, or I was unclean, and that's just total bullshit. No one should ever let themselves be belittled by someone else or by themselves because of the guilt that they're carrying from something. So I just wanted to make a video about this because I thought, for me, it was an interesting topic. Um, it's something that I haven't really talked about yet on this channel, and now I think maybe it'll make more sense to people who, you know, watch me and, and kind of question why I talk about sexuality, female sexuality particularly, a lot. And it's because girls are afraid. And if they see a girl making a video being like, hell yeah, I love this vibrator. Or you know what? Girls masturbate. And it shows a bunch of girls being like, hell yeah, I masturbate. Now you know why. Because it's important to send that message to girls that, you know what? There's nothing wrong with doing that. You should not feel ashamed. And I've gotten a lot of comments too, by the way, of people saying, I love that you can just unbox all this stuff and have absolutely, you know, you, you act like it's totally fine and you're confident. And I love that. It's like, yeah, and that's how it should be. That shouldn't be like something that I get a high five for. It should just be like, yeah, that's normal. It's like, hey, today I wasn't racist. It's like, good? I want it to be normalized, so that's why I do this. But anyways, I'm gonna stop ranting now. This is kind of an unplanned video, but I, I just wanted to get that out there because I thought it was cool and stuff. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like this video, share it everywhere. I'm sorry I haven't been posting a lot lately. Like I said, I've been going through some stuff and right now I'm in the process of moving. So once I do that, I will have my shit together, hopefully, and there will be more content, I promise. So anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> do girls masturbate? <laughs> yeah. Girls masturbate. They definitely do. Yeah, they fucking do, shit.